Media, day one, January 5th. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada for CES 2019. And I'm checking out the view from the window here at the conference center at Mandalay Bay. Today is gonna to be mostly the press conference from Living in Digital Times. We talk about technology like our smart home, nursery tech for babies, family tech, kid tech, things like that. They're the ones that put on the Family Tech Summit that I'll be going to later this week. CES unveiled this tonight where some of the newest uh, technologies and things that companies are coming out with are available to kind of look at and, and demo. And so we'll, we'll take a sneak peek at some of that stuff too. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just looking at the mountains, really. Uh, in what direction are all these technologies, all this innovation, in what direction are these things pointing to? And I think the answer is, is that we are fast approaching a new era of consumer technology. What is CES setting the pace for? Well, we're bridging and we're fast approaching the data age of consumer technology. As more and more consumer choices, more and more business decisions are backed up supported and informed by data. You've heard of Tesla suit, they're a CES exhibitor, uh, and they provide a full body haptic experience to go with your virtual reality visual experience. So uh, if you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and somebody punches you in the gut, you're gonna feel that in your stomach. Uh, <laughs> the visual assistants are going into everything. And you'll see that again at the show floor. You see them in appliances for your household, everything from refrigerators to washing machines, um, cars, they're in your vehicle now, so it's taking that uh, safe driving and hands-free driving to a whole other level. Of course, there are various hub devices. In my opinion, the next trend for the smart home beyond hardware is how do we get those devices to connect to each other? The idea of the smart home is about a, a symphony of devices working together, not so much uh, one single device uh, working on its own. This craziness behind me is unveiled. Las Vegas just walked out of the Trends to Watch session. And now we're gonna go see some of those trends they talked about, some of the technology that they are highlighting at CES this year. So let's go do it. And we're in. That was nutty. But we're on the Las Vegas unveiled floor. I'm gonna go over here to the right and work my way around. And anytime I see something family related or kid related or I don't know, super cool, I'll post to show you a little, uh, little bit of it. The spring will shut down and you've got a story in it with all the elements you have choose uh, in the story. Well, there you have it. That is it for me at uh, Unveiled Las Vegas tonight. You will see um, 
you'll see even more tomorrow of the events. Um, tomorrow I am going to an event concerning esports and some things like that. So um, we'll talk about that a little bit. But overall, I think today is interesting. Uh, a lot of the new tech is, is ways for kids to play and learn without a screen. And, and that's one of the questions I get most from parents. How much screen time should my kid have, especially my young kid? And the answer is not a lot. So whenever you have tech coming out, new opportunities for kids to play and learn without the screens, that's a great thing. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to see if these things make the market and a lot of them from other countries and stuff. So hopefully they will. But anyway, we will see you tomorrow, and uh, thanks for hanging with me today at CES 2019. Because Family, the familytechblog.com, the only tech blog covering CES exclusively to help parents and children and teenagers be safe online. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.